Okay, so we're back again. I went out shopping yesterday and picked up some new stuff. Um, first of all, the project box. So this is the project box compared to the old one. It's quite a bit bigger. The most important thing is actually a lot wider, which will help me fit in the battery and all the components. But before I went out to buy it, I did something really important, and that was making measurements and calculations. So I actually did it twice because I took the full measure of things here, and then I took also um, the measures here for inside and outside. So, I mean, with your components, stuff like this, there's a part of this that's going to be inside, right? The, this part down here, that's inside, and then this is outside. So your spacing is going to be different from the outside of the box as compared to the inside of the box. Um, anyway, I took measurements of all this stuff. I, I bought a box that I figured would be a good size, and then I actually made some two-scale models. So this is the side view. I wanted to make sure that everything would fit in, so this is the actual size of the... I wrote POTS there, but that's actually just um, short for potentiometer, and that would also mean variable resistors. So that is, so you know, one of these. So, you know, as you can see, if I line this up here, it's the same size. Um, I even sort of included some ideas for where the wires are going to go. But I wanted to make sure that everything would fit in this way, and also, sorry about the shakiness here, this way as well. So I can see another problem I had before was that the quarter inches were hitting parts on the PCB. You don't want that to happen because when you plug in a patch cord, you may end up losing a lot of space and actually hitting things that you don't want to. So you can see I sort of did the switches here, and that's not a problem. Then I have the quarter inches, PCB, quarter inch, um, and then the battery will fit in underneath there. That's not actually to scale, <laughs> but uh, it's about the same size as PCB. Now you might be wondering why the PCB is so big. One thing I think is important to mention, something that I almost forgot, is that the PCB is not just this sort of thin plastic, it's also you have to count the parts that are in it, like all the components that are on top, those count towards the height. So I made sure to, to include that in my, in my calculation. Anyway, after writing down all this stuff here, what I'm going to do is I have already started making some pencil marks here and here, and uh, I did that with my new knobs. Same thing as the old ones, but kind of bigger. Anyway, um, I, I started making pencil marks where I'm going to drill. And it's really important that you figure out what kind of drill bit to use for each thing. You shouldn't just make you know, a bunch of big holes in it, um, or else you're going to end up with stuff not fitting in properly, or you're going to have to make bigger holes. As you can see with the old one here, I had to reshape these holes. It was a total pain. And also, when it came to my quarter inch inputs, I made this hole first this whole second. And this smaller hole was definitely the kind of hole that I, I needed to make and I should have measured first. So what I did is I went to the dollar store and I got one of these things, fractional gill gate, drill gauge, sorry. Um, mostly because all my drill bits are in fractions and I am not American so I have no idea what they mean. Um, I wouldn't know if you asked me if, if, is this bigger, is this bigger, it would actually um, be really tough for me to figure that out. So this tells me everything I need to know in decimals. And it's also helpful because I can take something like, like a component, like a, my switch here, and try and fit it in to one of these things and figure out which size of drill bit I should actually use. I have a very limited number of drill bits. I have different types of drill bits in different sizes, but I don't have every size. Um, so here's what I ended up picking out. Um, these are all meant for different types of materials, but like I said, I don't have a, every kind of drill bit. I'm not going to go out and by the size that I need because this is pretty approximate to what I need. So I've got this one here is going to be used for the quarter inch inputs on either side. So there. Um, the half inch one is going to be used for most of the stuff for all the switches and the on-off. The switches could use a smaller one, but I don't have a smaller one. And then this one here is for the V-pots or basically the variable resistors. So again, they'll be pretty small on top here. But it's important, a lot of people will overlook this step. You've got to take your measurements. Be back again with another video in a few minutes.